We talked about what a difference a day makes. Lots of blue sky and sunshine. Again, the temperature's basically the same, but yeah. it sure does feel different. It's wild. Yesterday, I even put on a puffy coat at one point yeah. in time. And today, <laughs> I was in shorts and a t-shirt. And the temperatures are the same. It's the sunshine, right? That's it. Yeah. And so when people give me grief and say, oh, the weatherman never gets it right, because <laughs> I don't hear that 10 times a day. Uh, that's where it gets really difficult as a meteorologist. And sometimes I might tell you everything that's going to happen in the world of weather, and then you experience it and go, why did it feel so different even though it was the same? Or you might, you know, experience very different things. That's just how weather works. That's why it's so cool. We've got nothing but sunshine in the forecast. Seriously, even as thunderstorms move in Sunday, the summer-like heat holds, the sunny pattern holds, everything stays warm. In fact, our high temperatures still climb into the mid-80s on Sunday. Uh, Mark's going to give me grief because I put 89 on Saturday. He's going to say, just bump it up to 90. Not doing it. When it comes to the overall weather pattern, though, we do have a chance of those thunderstorms on Sunday. Nothing going on, though. We build this ridge overhead. You can basically trace it. It goes about like this down into the Midwest. That ridge is why we're sunny. That ridge is why we're warm. That ridge just compounds upon itself and turns into a heat dome over the western U.S. For us, that's some warm temperatures moving in. Friday, you're really going to feel it. I seriously think by Friday you're going to be calling and texting and emailing and saying, Jeremy, when are we going to get some reprieve from this heat? By Saturday, I'm going to say, sorry, it's just that kind of hot. And remember, we talked about this little wave in the jet that was going to hit Saturday. Remember, I always say three days, three days, three days, three days. It's slowing down. A storm like that often slows down. Sometimes it gets a boost from a storm elsewhere and it moves a little faster, like what we saw last week. But sometimes it slows down. So for us, it's starting to look more like that little wave arrives Sunday. And our chance of storms here in the inland northwest arrives more Sunday afternoon. That can still change, though. It really can't. But overall, it does look like that arrives Sunday afternoon. But despite that chance of storm arriving Sunday afternoon, storms we're still going to stay hot. We still have the heat dome over the western U.S. We still have our high temperatures soaring into the 80s and even 90s as we move through basically like the second first week of the middle first week of June. How do you say that? Either way, 79 degrees tomorrow, 85 on Friday, 89 on Saturday, few isolated storms on Sunday, nothing overly widespread, but the chance is there. And then even when we cool down, Whitney earlier heard me go, ooh, we cool down, but cool down is uh, 80 degrees. It's a little misleading, but I'll take it. I'm not going to complain.